All right, we are back. And right now, there's a Euro Cup game on, soccer game. I like soccer. The one thing I despise, just despise about soccer is this. They use shootouts to settle ties. I understand it's a game where there's not much offense and you have to look out for, you know, the teams that have to play, who, you know, whoever wins has to play, oh shit, the winner has to play, you know, in a couple days or whatever, but are you telling me that you want your sport decided based on, based on the, based on guys kicking, it's the same as using in hockey, if they settled, um, well sadly they do use shootouts to settle Olympic stuff, but, you know. Nothing we can do about that. But, you know, it'd be like, it'd be like if they, shit, it'd be like if they used shootouts to solve the uh, Stanley Cup. So, that you'd have one overtime and then you'd have a shootout. Five shooters apiece. Like, you know what I mean? It, it, it really devalues your game as a sport. It really is not a very cool thing to do. Come on, you gonna come up here and get me? Yeah, that's what I thought. You ain't shit. Yeah, that's right. You ain't shit. Oh shit, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's not gonna work either. That's good. Oh, well, I'm never gonna get that. Oh yes, I am. Sweet. So yeah, that's the one gripe I have with soccer. Otherwise, it's a fantastic sport. A lot of fun to watch. Takes incredible skill. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> that just didn't go well from the get-go. Oh, a shoe. That's what I need. Whenever I'm in delicate moving situations, that's what I need. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh shit, I'm dead. Jump! Oh well, at least they're dead. Am I coming in here? No. Come on. Put me up there. I want my one-up. Yeah! Got me a one-up. B2. Look at that picture. That's a neat enemy. We haven't seen that guy before, have we? And the answer is nope. Now, see what I did there was I jumped as I went along to try to keep these guys off my ass. Oh shit. What I got was an item there that allows me to throw fireballs out of my mouth, but I died. What can you do? And you know what? You know where we're going now? Do 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 do. Come on. Yeah, the last guy. We are here. So you got to collect that little lightning bottle. It allows you to blow these ones. It gives you the power of candy. And it also. Oh shit! And I'm dead. So what it does is. It gives you the power of uh, of the fast candy, and here's the beauty. It also gives you the shoes, which I which while are fun to use, are not that fun to use. And you're popping them the wrong way, you idiot. Just gotta be careful when you're dealing with this guy. All you gotta do is just keep plowing them in and then just dodge the bottles. You can kill the bottles with the lightning bolts, but it's really too risky. And, uh, so the idea is just to keep dodging back and forth and, uh, just keep, keep making big bundles of these. It isn't like the arcade where you could, where you could send them up the, the wall. In the arcade, you could send a big line up the wall and then just pop them all in one shot to hit the bad guy. You can't do it on the uh, NES version. So it makes the boss a little harder. But see that counter that's coming down? He's only got 13 more hits left, and then he's done. So. Shit. Oh, I lived. I lived. How the hell did I live? All right. Okay. Now that he's dead, to get the proper ending, I am going to lend a life to my partner and pop him. This way, with the two of us alive, it's the happy ending. you got to have two people in play. And yes, we did it. We've done it. And by we, I mean me. We have rescued the girlfriends. We have the happy end! Now, you're ready for this wonderful, wonderful amount of storytelling and showmanship? Congratulations! Bobby and Babby, you saved your lovers! 
Betty and Patty at last! But your adventure is not over yet. Huh? What do you mean it's not over yet? But you know what? You hear that? We get different music from the game. Well, we're getting for the boss music too, so... Three songs! It's fantastic. Drunker KZM. I want his job. He's a programmer and his name is Drunker KZM. Fantastic. Ah, oh, Shinobu. An honorable man. I don't know him, actually. I'm making that up. Oh, yes. Composer Kimi. Composer Kimi. Did the sound. That That's fantastic. Sleepy Shun was the planner. Thankfully, he woke up from his narcoleptic nap long enough to put the game together. I love these credits. I love the, the, the finish of the story. I love everything about this game because it's so insane. Now, you may see a lot of the uh, those initials we saw. Like, we saw KZM, and there's PMDC. And it looks like not many people work in this. Now, look at that. We get a password. BBAJI. So, we're going to go try that password. And we will soon see what is what. So, yeah, we know Bubble Bobble. Come on. Dash it, Bubble Bobble. Password. It was... Oh, come on. How do I enter this now? No, how do I do that? How do I do the password? Alright. Since I'm too stupid to know how to work a password, I'm going to call this a video. So until next time, I'm Brian Sulphur. Keep your stick on the ice, and get ready, because we're only halfway done.